Alright, so this video let's look at solving systems of equations using Cramer's rule. Alright, so let's suppose we have a system of equations here. We have ax plus by equals k sub 1 and cx plus dy equals k sub 2. So to use Cramer's rule, we have to take the determinant of the coefficient matrix, which is the matrix A, B, C, D. Okay? The D is the matrix with the coefficients of the variables. Okay? And then we have to find D sub X. And this is the determinant. Okay? So we're looking for D sub X. So the column that contains the coefficients of the X values, we're going to replace that column with the constants, the k1 and k2. Okay? And then we have the coefficients of y, b and d in the second column. And then for d sub y, the coefficients of y, we're going to replace those with k1 and k2. And then the x column, that's the coefficients of the x values. And then if, if we had uh, three equations and three unknowns, it would be the same thing. We would have a x, y, and a z, and we would have another equation, a k3. And to do that, you know, if you wanted to find d sub z, then the, col the coefficient of the z value, the third column, we would replace that with k1, k2, and k3. I'm just using the two equations, two unknowns, to show you how to set the d, d sub x, and d sub y up. Okay. Now, uh, to get x, to get x, it's d sub x over d, the determinant of this matrix divided by the determinant of this one, and y is equal to d sub y over d, the determinant of this matrix divided by the determinant of this matrix. Okay. All right, so the example I'm going to do, I'm going to do three equations and three unknowns. So here's the example that I'm going to do. I'm going to do 2x plus y plus z equals 13, x plus 2y plus z equals 11, and x plus 3y plus 3z equals 19. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to input this matrix, or the, the D, the D sub X, the D sub Y, and the D sub Z into Excel. Okay, and we're going to let Excel calculate everything. So if you want to write this down, because I'm going to switch over to Excel right now, so you can pause the video and write it down so you'll have it in front of you. All right, so let's go over here to Excel. All right, so here we have to we're going to put in D. Okay, so that's going to be 2, 1, 1, uh, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3. Okay, and then let's put in the constants. So that's 13, 11, and 19. All right, so we have everything put in. Now, let's come here and we're going to calculate D equals. Okay, and so I'm going to, I need to put this matrix in, but what I'm going to do is I'm not going to type in the numbers. I'm going to use formula, so I'm going to hit equals, and I want it to equal this cell, and I'm going to hit enter, and so I need to copy this down, okay, 
and so there's the one and the one and then I'm gonna copy it over okay so one two three and then the one one three all right so that's D now let's calculate or let's input D sub X okay and so now I want I need to replace the X column with the constants. So I'm going to hit equals this cell, hit enter, and then I'm going to copy this down. Okay, and then I need for this, this is going to be the Y column and the Z column. See the X column we replaced with the K1, K2, and K3. So this is going to equal, and then this value, hit enter, and copy that down and then copy it over for the Z column and then I need D sub Y equals okay so this time I need to replace the Y column with K1, K2 and K3 so this one's going to equal this value because I need my X column I'm going to copy that down and then this one is going to equal so the Y column gets replaced with the constants and then here I have my Z column and so that one whoop, this is going to equal this value okay. alright in Excel what it does here it'll throw these up here and if you, it says inconsistent formula, it's because it thinks I should have copied everything from here over. See, I kind of left this out and did this one. So all you have to do is click this, ignore error. Okay. And then I need D sub Z. all right so this I'm gonna I ha, here I have to replace the Z column with the constants so I need the X hit enter and then I will copy this down and I'll copy it over because I need the Y column and then here I need equals and then the constants All right, so I have these entered in. All right, and I think what I'll do is we'll just we'll highlight these, okay, and we'll highlight all of these in a different color so we can kind of keep everything apart. I'll do it in yellow. All right. And, and this workbook, I'm going to make it available to you on my website. I'll put a link in the description of how to get to this Excel file. And so you can, you can create your own or you can come download this one. And you can see I've got a 2x2 two two and a 4x4 four four already. So I already, I already have these done. I'm just showing you an example of a 3x3. Three three. All right. So now we need the determinant of D, D sub X, D sub Y, and D sub Z. Okay, so you can come up here to your insert function, and I mean I already have mine right here, but if yours aren't showing, I just go to all, click on the first one, and hit M, and that takes you down to the M's, and see I need M determ, and it returns the matrix determinant of an array, so I hit OK, I'll select my matrix, and then I'll hit OK. And then I'll do the same thing for this one. And instead of hitting the function key, you can type in equals M. And see it all automatically pops up. Just double click it. Select your matrix. And hit enter. And same thing here, equals. Double click select your matrix 
and then same thing here. Alright, so now we have all of this, and now I'm ready to calculate my x, y, and z. So I guess we'll come down here and we'll type in x equals y equals and z equals. Okay. Alright, so so my x value, remember that's d sub x or the determinant of d sub x over the determinant of d. So it's this value divided by this value. And so I'm going to come down here to this cell, hit equals, and I'm going to do this value divided by this value and hit enter. And so x is 4. And now let's do the y. So I'm going to hit equals, and that's the determinant of d sub y divided by d. Okay. And then the z value, I hit equals, and that's going to be the determinant of d sub z divided by d. And I'll hit enter. And that's the solution to my system of equations. And I guess we can go ahead and put this as a different color. Okay. And, you know, if you want to, you can put borders on this thing. Uh, like, for instance, here, you know, the determinant, it's got straight lines on either side. So if you highlight it, right click and hit uh, format cells and you come over here to border say I want a line here and here and hit OK and you see it puts the lines there and you can do that to each one if you want And there it is. Okay. And and like I said, you know, uh, I'll uh, I'll have this file on my website that you can download and use it. And and the reason that we want to put formulas everywhere is because when you come when you get another uh, system, okay. You just come up here and change these numbers and everything else is automatically calculated. So for instance, if I change this 2 to a 5, okay, so watch all of these numbers change. And so you see how it automatically calculates everything for you. And you know, so we don't have, you don't have to you don't have to do this every time. That's the good part of it about Excel is, you know using the formula so it automatically calculates for you instead of having to create a sheet every time. But, you know, here's here's one for three by three. Here's one for two equations, two unknowns, has the formulas in it. And here's one for four equations, four unknowns. Okay. And if you need to, you can do a five equations and five unknowns. You know how to create the sheet now. All right. So I hope this helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Alright, thanks.